Hello, this is Deb Joyce Neek from Delight of My Art, and we're doing mystery stamping again today. It is Wednesday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and we get together every single week. And I know tomorrow is Thanksgiving, and that's why I'm pre-recording this, so I might be a little bit loopy. It is the night before, actually, that I'm recording this, so hopefully nobody barges in. They're downstairs watching a movie, my family, so we'll see what happens this uh, day. Hopefully that you will be able to get together with your family as well. We have our mystery stamping directions here. This are posted and emailed to you every Monday. You can find these uh, if you join my email list in the link below, or you can check our Facebook group, which is Stamp with Delight. Um, you can also find me on YouTube and Facebook at Delight of My Art as well. Let's go ahead and get started. Maybe. Okay, here we are. So let's go ahead and follow along my directions here. I'm going to put this off to the side, but you should be able to follow along with your directions as well. So we're going to get out that base. And I have a cherry cobbler base. This is seven and a half by five and a half. We're going to get out our trimmer so that we can do some scoring. So put it in at the seven and a half inch side here. And we are going to actually, we're going to need the arm out here. Let's move this over so I can fit it on my screen. This is bumping up into my stand, so we'll do our best. All right, so we're going to score at three and a quarter. So try not to cut. We're going to put our cutting blade out of the way. I'm way off on the side of the screen, I know. Okay, so we're going to three and a quarter and six and a half. Three and a quarter and six and a half. That should be all of the scoring and cutting and everything that we would need to do. So let's go ahead and get out our bone folder here. So we're going to flip this over because we want this piece to come forward. And this is actually the size of our card. And we're going to take this other piece that we scored and actually fold it backwards. Just like that. All right, so let's, let's kind of straighten that back out. So we've got our shape here. Let's take our first piece of DSP. DSP number one on your sheet is three inches wide by five and a quarter tall. So let me go ahead and grab my piece here. This is the piece that I chose. I think this is so pretty. So let's go ahead and glue. Yes, my glue is right here. I like to use my liquid glue because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room time and you just have to use the thinnest layer about a quarter of an inch in from the sides and I kind of squiggle in the middle there. So here is our piece right there. And DSP number two, if you're new, DSP might be confusing. That means designer series paper. I just mean patterned paper. So it's a nice short way to say patterned paper. So um, this is DSP. So any patterned paper that we have. Now this one is seven eighths of an inch wide by five and a quarter tall. And that one's going to go right here. And actually you have this, this edge here. You have the border on this piece, right? This one is actually going to butt right up against that little lip so that the border on around this one is even and this one gives the illusion that it has another border. If we were to give the border an even border on this piece right here, you'd have the appearance of a double border and it would look thicker right here. So this is why this piece is seven eighths inch wide. So we're gonna go ahead and glue that piece to that back panel. And again, that is on the inside kind of right there. So let's go ahead and glue that piece down. I hope you guys are all having fun for Thanksgiving, get to getting together with family. Maybe you're watching this on the replay when you come back from wherever you're going. I hope everybody has safe travels and has no drama for Thanksgiving. <laughs> all right, so here are our two pieces. Isn't that pretty? So now we're going to do our inside peach with piece, which is our neutral piece of cardstock, three inches wide by five and a quarter tall. You'll notice that's the same exact size as the DSP on the front. 
So we're just going to add that to the inside. And I have already done my stamping on this piece. I have like this um, set over here. I've been using this a lot, Hope and Peace. I love this set and it has this really nice greeting for an inside of a card. May knowing Christ bring you peace for today, hope for tomorrow and joy in every season. So I love that. Let's go ahead and add that to the inside here. And we'll again do a nice border around for that one, just like so. All right, we've got that piece. This is coming along real nice. So now you need to have your focal point to fit on a medium die cut or punch shape and then add all of your embellishments. So here is my punch. This is our decorative circle punch. And I have some little sprigs that I cut along with that. So we're actually going to add this to this piece and don't glue it to this one. So it is actually going to go completely flat here. But first I'm gonna add my little sprigs here. So let's go ahead and add those. And you know what, since this is gonna stick off, I might actually punch another circle thing so that we can hide um, any glue that I stick on the back there. So let's go ahead and punch out one more piece like that. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn this over. I love to use our seal to add little sprigs and stuff. Um, woo, well, I got a little crazy with the glue there. All right, there's a sticky spot there. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it on the camera even. Oh my goodness. All right. So here is our sprigs. Just like that. And I'll go ahead and add this piece to the back so that we can hide our, our little sprigs there. And we have adhesive here. I don't want that to stick onto anything, but I like to um, add those sprigs that way. So this is a nice, easy way to make it nice and clean looking. All right, so here we go. We'll just sandwich those in there. Look how nice that looks. Okay, so now, once that dries straight, got those in there nicely, we are going to add this, not with dimensionals, we're just gonna add this flat on here so that it sticks just to this side. So I'm gonna kind of place this here where I want it and notice where my edge is. I'm going to put my finger there and turn it over and just add glue safely on that other side. And you can add tear and tape or whatever. Just make sure that you just add glue to this panel. All right, so something like that. I'm gonna add, oh, it's sliding around still. I've got my liquid glue. It takes about a good 10 seconds to really hold fast and then it is on there. So I'll just let it sit for just a minute and then we can decide what kind of embellishments I want to put on here. So let me page through, I didn't do that part yet. I've got a lot of choices. What should I do? Let's do you know what? Look at this. I've got two little gold pieces here. I should probably just use those up. Where's the other small pieces? <laughs> I just got a few little randoms kind of floating around here. Yeah. Maybe we already used the big ones. That should be dry by now. I have two alternatives to show you as well. So hang tight. We'll go ahead and look at those in just a minute. Um, I don't want these blue things on there, but I don't know. I don't, I want more than just two of those. Let's see. What else can we put on here? Let's just add some white ones. That's right here. And I don't know where the envelope went for those. So it's going to be, it's going to be this one. White always looks good on everything. And we'll add a few more. Cute. All right, so there are our sequins on there. Put that away along with this whole stack of, <laughs> of my things. Okay, so here is our card here. 
and this is how it works. It's a fold, let's see, what do they call this? Oh, I didn't write it down. Fold back, fun fold. <laughs> I think that's what it's called. Isn't that fun? So it's, since, since this is flat, it kind of holds this other panel shut, and then you get to just kind of fold that backwards, just like that. So I did a matching envelope for this one. Just stamped a little sprig in the corner there. So that is our card number one. And let's go ahead and look at my alternatives. Oh, look, I have a little strip of this since this was a little bit longer. You could add this to the inside of the card. And I think I'm going to do that. I'll do that right now. Because otherwise I'll probably just see this on the table and throw it away. But it's the perfect size for this because it was the same size as the inside. And I just snipped that off with that piece. Okay, so let's just add that to the inside. Oh, that's pretty. That looks really nice. Doesn't that dress it up? Okay, so there's our first card. I can put my glue away. And here is card number two. This one's using the trucking along. We've got our envelope here. Look at this. Got the little truck moving along the side there. And we've got our little snowflakes. These are part of the online exclusives so, as well as the um, paper here. And we've got our truck folds back, wishing you a festive Christmas. Super cute, right? And then card number three. And you'll have to let me know which one is your favorite. I always like to know. And oh, I gotta watch out for this sticky spot, you guys. Okay, I won't put it there. Maybe I'll put it there gently. <laughs> Here's one using the very cute sweet. And we've got our cute little snowflakes here. I love stamping off with these. These these are so great. I've been using a lot of this, this in, in that same stamp set. So here's a Merry Christmas. And I just fussy cut this out of the DSP there. Same DSP as this. And we fold that back. And we have Christmas is better together. Isn't that so cute? Oh, my goodness. Okay, so here is card number three. I'm going to put a piece of scrap on, on my sticky spot. <laughs> there. <laughs> there. Okay. We have all three of the cards. I'll go ahead and add my face back in here. <laughs> so let me know which one is your favorite. And we have a sale going on. It is last chance sale. I forgot to send out my email. So hopefully I'll do that in a little bit here. Maybe as you're watching, you already saw it because I was good and actually remembered to do it. Uh, but we do have a last chance sale. So if you'd like to order anything, please fill out my form at orderwithdeb.com. I'd be happy to uh, submit that for you. And yeah, please join in my mystery stamping here. Share with your friends, like my Facebook page and my YouTube video and have a fabulous Thanksgiving. Let me know in the comments also, what are you thankful for? I am thankful for you. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful to be healthy. And I, I'm just thankful. Life is good. Life has hard turns here and there. And I, I try to find the good parts. So hopefully you can do the same. Have a fabulous day, guys.